Hello guys. Well, today we're doing something different again. I guess. We are apparently Uncle Roger made a new video. Uh, the title was Uncle Roger reveals Australian egg fried rice. Another fried rice video. I hope this is gonna be good. And might not just watch. He's gonna review all the fried rice. I think. Okay, let's watch. Maybe you should spend less time conditioning your hair and spend more time buying one wok. Hair so <laughs> silky, but no wok so sad. It's always the wok, huh, guys? Niece and nephew. Hello, niece and nephew. Hello. It's Uncle Roger. Yep. A few weeks ago, Uncle Roger made video with Aussie Man Review. Did he? He watched all the cooking fail so satisfying. So, so Uncle Roger so wondering, satisfying. are Australian people better than British people and making really? egg fried rice? So today, oh, okay. I found this cooking YouTuber from Australia. His name, not what I reckon. Let's see how <laughs> good his egg fried rice reckon. skill is. Before we start, niece and nephew, I want you to smack like button. Smack like button now, like how your parents smack you when you do your test. Yep. Okay. Oh no. This is so packet cringy. Packet rice to start. Oh, oh no. <laughs> That's a packet oh, rice? What he doing? Oh. Oh, okay. Whew. Uncle Roger, I see packet rice. I feel the worst. Not what I reckon. Don't start your video like this. You almost gave Uncle Roger heart attack. Yeah, man. Jesus Christ. Uncle Roger think packet rice is so bad. Vacuuming packet rice is showing too much respect to packet rice. The rice <laughs> going to the vacuum. Even the dirt inside the vacuum going. Who the hell is this? Why you vacuum this trash next to me? What's going on, Le Champignons? Let's have a bit of a chat. This guy so many tattoo. Yeah. Mm. When Uncle Roger going up, I see people with so many tattoo, I assume they are gangster. But nowadays, when you have so many tattoo, I assume you make latte. Uncle Roger <laughs> think this kitchen Why? Look His Baitas has a lot of tattoos. Minimalistic. I think this guy Nat, he hate clutter, except on his skin. This is like white people kitchen. In Asian culture, the massive your kitchen is, the better your food. Uncle Roger see tidy kitchen it? like this. I don't Kinda. expect to eat egg fried rice. I expect the kitchen to is eat not that on clean. Anyway, we're here to cook f***ing fried rice. This okay. shit on this shit. There's the f***ing ingredients. Get f***ed. Hiya. Hi Why he curse so much? Every two words is F-bomb. Not cooking <laughs> egg fried rice. Not getting divorced. Why you say F-word so much? From now on, Uncle Roger gonna bleed out the F-word with yeah. Chinese sound. YouTube, <laughs> please don't demonetize <laughs> Uncle Roger. One. I am family friendly channel. Is nephew not right here saying all the F words? Yeah, that's put true. put ingredient on screen. Let's see what he have for his egg fried rice. Oh, shit load of garlic. Oh my god. Okay, that is only time cursing acceptable. You can okay. use curse word to describe garlic. Only other time <laughs> you can use cursing is when your ingredient list you list out ton of MSG. Right, so here's the big <laughs> thing with fried bleep. rice. You can't just cook some rice and put the okay, hot rice bleep. in with the hot ingredients and expect it to be awesome fried rice. Correct, correct. Never use hot rice for your egg fried rice. If you don't know how to cook rice... You don't use hot rice? Oh wait. Oh wait, oh yeah, okay. Oh, I understand, but this is, you need to use like what what you call that? Uh, uh. I don't know what's that word. Like overnight rice? I I don't know. Okay, whatever. Just get on a bit. Don't worry about it. Here's a flashback from the other week. For each cup of rice, it's one and a half cups of water. You wash all the stupid shit off the rice that makes Why the rice Why? He, he looks like a girl use here. cold water, don't use warm water, or you'll cook the rice. Put it in the pot, bang it on the stove, put a pinch of salt Hiya, in it, no bang walk. the lid on, bring it to the boiler, oh, once oh, it's he... boiling, turn the heat down, he, keep he it does have, He does have water, right? <laughs> right oh champ. Niece and nephew, you ever notice when you ask white people how to make rice, they give you this long explanation full of mathematical formula. One okay. cup rice, one and a half cup water, put on stove, simmer, 10 minutes. Hiya, too much, too many instructions. Your finger. You ask Asian people how they make rice, they just tell you, you put in rice cooker and press the button, <laughs> are you stupid? Just buy this thing, 
World War II is over. Use technology. When yeah, Uncle that's true. Roger tell my white people friend to buy rice cooker, they always tell me, sorry, cannot buy rice cooker. No space yeah, for this. I think the Asian, I'm not sure other places are the same, but in, in my place, we don't measure that a lot. It's like we just, okay, how many people was it? We just measure it or how many cups, throw it in. And measure water like all thing you think that's enough is okay then just press start we don't have to think that much all right it's still rice if it's hard then okay we will just put more water next time if it's uh way too wet then just put lesser water next time so you just adjust from that all right so that's how asian do things in the kitchen how they cook rice right so yeah single purpose appliance rice cooker is single purpose appliance okay. but then i go to their house and i see toaster toaster also single purpose appliance why you have that but not rice cooker rice cooker is better oh, yeah, kitchen you. appliance than toaster because rice you can have for breakfast lunch or dinner yeah. Toast you can only have for breakfast so not versatile if well, your parent make you can have toast every morning every Afternoon, every dinner, if you want to. No one's gonna tell me how, how I want to live my life, right? I can just eat toast in every meal, right? Okay. Make you toast for dinner. They don't love you. That is their way of telling you you adopted. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, adopted children. While the rice is cooling down, cut all this shit up, but keep these aside with your eggs. Okay, okay, the cutting quite pro. Start, get your two eggs, crack them into a bowl. Uh, and gently whisk them together, champion. Okay. Righto. He didn't let all the yolks finish and... I don't like how he throws shit around higher. Yeah. You need to treat your kitchen appliance with respect. If Uncle Roger throws shit like this around, my parents will beat me. Because Asian parents respect their kitchen appliance more than they respect their children. Is it though? Uncle Roger so so much respect for my walk. Every day I talk to You make to love my to walk. it? Oh, Ask you talk to it. Okay, at least that's better. Is, it's my only friend now. Uncle Roger loved my walk so much, I think I am pansexual. <laughs> <laughs> now over to the stove. Right, I first cab off Jesus. the rank, get yourself a pan. Put the pan... Turn the special little heat on. Fuck. I've lived here for almost fucking three months and I still fucking can't work this thing out. Right one. This is cute. You can tell this guy not professional, but quite okay. charming. Not even a minute. Done. Set them aside off in their own little bowl. Get your bigger pan. No, no, no. Nephew, no what? Where, where your what? Where <laughs> your what? <laughs> you got all the step correct so far, but you don't have walk high. No, uh, yeah, hi maybe you again. should spend less time conditioning your hair and spend more time <laughs> buying one walk. Hair so silky, but no walk so Yeah, fat. man. Right he, he made himself. Anyway, this one. His, his appearances, at a certain angle, he looks like a girl. If I'm offended, I'm so sorry. But that's what I see. Alright? Okay. Nice and hot. Couple of tablespoons of sesame oil. No, well, no, 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 no. What? Sesame oil. Do we even use that for cooking rice? I heard of a uh, peanut oil. I heard of a uh, olive oil. No. Sesame oil not for cooking. Sesame oil you use for flavoring later. Yeah, so I making see. egg fried rice. Uncle Roger like to use peanut oil because ah. I want my fried rice to be able to kill off all the weak peanut allergy people. Niece and nephew, <laughs> just kidding. Uncle Roger love all my niece and nephew, including the weak one. If you have peanut allergy, your life so sad. You go to Asia, you eat egg fried rice. It's like Russian roulette. Will I enjoy Russian my meal roulette? What? I die. Let's find out. <laughs> now get this shit, put it in that shit. Add your peas. You want to kind of fry it up until you see the meat start to go okay. a little brown. Another hot tip is try and use a wooden implement and not a metal one. Oh my god, he used wooden spoon on non-stick pan? Correct? Yeah. Correct. Uncle Roger respect this nephew. Next, bang your egg back in. That I'll use wooden, and then wooden add as your well. Ice in. 
Now add a couple of tablespoons. Oh wait, now he put it in the rice. Okay. And a tablespoon of soy sauce. Now. Oh no no no! Wait, what? That the... not missing the most important ingredient. MSG. MSG. <laughs> How can you miss the king of flavor? Many niece and nephew asking Uncle Roger why I like MSG so much. What does MSG taste like? MSG tastes like umami. Umami, umami flavor is the best flavor. The basic taste is sweet, salty, sour, bitter. All of them are bullshit. All I want <laughs> is umami taste. Umami tastes like happiness. It tastes like first love. Tastes like warm embrace from your lover. Oh, okay. Next time you feel lonely, just eat some MSG before MSG. <laughs> oh God, I'm alone. I'm so depressed. Cut a pack of MSG, chug them. Yeah, however you want to consume them, put you up your ass or whatsoever. Yeah, everything that makes you happy, alright? Just take what Miss Uncle Roger said, alright? Just do it. Consume them. Thank you. G, Uncle Roger life in shambo. Ex-wife Auntie Helen left, took everything. I become homeless. Is it? Sitting on street. Then one day a kind stranger came over to Uncle Roger, sprinkled MSG on me, <laughs> and next thing you know, I bought this orange polo. Threw it all together. <laughs> Oh, he's tossing not, not as good sweet enough. as Uncle Gordon, yeah. but it's okay. It's acceptable for amateur. Because I think it's too much. That's why. Give him a quick stir through. Serve it up. Wait, he. Oh, it still look good though. It's not too bad. Not bad. Not bad. This egg fire rice video is okay. Acceptable. Not Uncle Gordon. Fuyo level, but it's okay. <laughs> Fuyo Uncle level. Roger, eat this. I won't vomit. His egg fried rice is pretty good for someone who looks like unemployed guitarist. All you need to improve is buy a wok, stop using sesame oil, and use some MSG. Uncle Roger kept my leg on chair the whole time. Miss and nephew, tell me what you think is Australian cooking better than British cooking? Subscribe to Uncle Roger. I will give it at least seven, because maybe. Next week, video gonna be so good. I will reveal oh, all niece and nephew Halloween outfit dressed up like Uncle Roger. Uncle Roger already got 500 submissions so far. Thank wow. you to all the niece and nephew. You make me feel special. See you next week for my Halloween video. Okay, he is a K pop. I think. Bloopers, okay. His kitchen too clean to make egg fried rice. Proper kitchen for Asian egg fried rice need to be messy. Need to have clutter everywhere. Maybe some cockroaches here and there. That's how <laughs> no. you know food good when the cockroach like your food. But Jesus this... Christ. That's that's bad. Okay, so that's the video of him reviewing Australian egg fried rice. And Alice is still better than British one. He didn't wash his rice. You know, it's like the only the worst thing that I have, I ever seen on that British fried rice was he washed. The freaking fried rice. That's the worst thing that I've ever seen in my life. Alright. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, I definitely enjoyed his video as well. If you guys have not checked him out, why not? Mr. Nigel Ng. He has a lot of subscribers right now. 2.45 million subscribers. He's a good fella. Christian channel, maybe. I don't know. But he did swear, so I don't think he's fully Christian channel. But yeah. And uh, that's it for this video. Subscribe to my channel as always. Turn on the bell notifications, right? And check me as well in Twitch, Nikito underscore gaming. I play tons of games. Recommend me some games, please. I want to play some games. More games, please. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.